Elgato! Where the only thing as good as the hunting is the fashion. My beard's a Eucatalot's chin! We're feeling good! Death! Is <laughs> all about looking good. Now, you see, Palico, you look like shit. What did you say? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Sunbreak Fashion Hunters, all welcome, welcome, welcome to. Fashion of the week, where you, yes you, have submitted your most glorious looks from cool to silly to badass to weird, but in all cases fantastically thought out and salivatingly saucy. I just said those words. And we are going to oogle your sets and be very impressed because goddamn your sets are very impressed. Impressive. Yes, indeed. Sunbreak has by far, at least in my humble opinion, the best set of armors for us to look good in. And, well, looking good is what we're all about, because if you don't look good, what is the point of hunting? And if you want to submit your own fashion sets, please do so through the description down below. And, of course, the more videos, cool poses, screenshots, info you provide, well, the better. Our first honourable mention, then, today comes to us via Mr. Blood. An armoured king who takes himself to the front line and leads his troops with glory. This is such a cool look, and it was very, very hard to resist showing you guys it. A five different pieces, and honestly, I really do like it. My only real downside is that the black kind of metal-y look of the Guild Palace chest is kind of off with the textures of both the gloves and the legs, and that's a tiny nitbit because, hey, I still chose it to show you guys because it's such a cool concept, and it's very, very well done. Our uh, other honourable mention, then, or at least one of two other honourable mentions, yes, you guys really are bringing it, is from Meeps. And this, again, is an incredible combination of two armour pieces that you would think would would normally really struggle to go with, well, basically anything but their own set. But Hermitar and Barioth here are a beautiful dance, and it really is a fantastic look. The colour scheme is perfect, the aesthetic is perfect, and I really do like it. So well done to you, Meeps. Finally then, by Angelo, nothing too crazy, but definitely I thought it was certainly a neat look. It is a kind of Admiral-esque aesthetic, and it's a really nice use of the pirate chest, and believe me, you guys like using the pirate chest. It's heavy. Not that I blame you, because it's fantastic. Alright, let's begin proper then, with Cosplay of the Week! <laughs> Yes, indeed, by a Mr. Mike, we have full-on Dragon Ball everything. We even have the tail, thanks to that belt, which is really cool. Ludroth coming in clutch here, and generally, it's just, I mean, it's spot-on, isn't it? We have Super Saiyan, even using the Furious skill to get the aura crackling is a lovely touch of detail that I really appreciate. We have Super Super Saiyan Blue, we have Super Saiyan 4, we have a lovely collection of Goku-ness that I think is hard to argue isn't a pretty on-point perfect cosplay submission and really isn't that far off the actual thing while again still looking pretty good as a look. Also, seeing Goku punch a monster and just, like, obliterate paste it to the floor would be a very interesting take in the Monster Hunter world. Alrighty then, it is time for our five winners today. Though, of course, they're all fantastic outfits, and the order is more for structure than it is a distinct ranking, but hey, here we go. In fifth place, we have ourselves a dark, ominous visitor. A priest of a secret organization that watches and prays to the god of hellfire and other some such dark things going on. Ooh. 
creepy. Yes, indeed. Sometimes a little bit of edge is what you need by WCR2 here, and it really is quite swish. I love the combination of the pieces here. I love the overall aesthetic. I really do like the touch of actually having Hellfire Blight on you along with the Magnum Malo bow gun to really accentuate it, this proper cult of Hellfire and its dark shadowy members. It's a great story, it's a great outfit, and I am very much impressed. Next up then, we have quite the glorious gold! And technically speaking, ladies and gentlemen, this outfit is a cosplay submission. But honestly... I think it's so genuinely good, especially using a piece that I don't really like, that I think is very hard to use in any kind of serious manner, the shagaroo chest with its wings. It becomes very impressive. And I love just this consistent sheen, glow and shine of the golden outfit. The Seregios combining with the shagaroo is just absolutely perfect here, and I am absolutely a massive fan of it. Even the Guild Palace weaving in on the gloves. I mean, it just looks like a single armor set and I really, really am impressed to the many layers that have gone on here. So, yes, very, very well done, Mr. Dreen. Next up, we have ourselves something that embodies the phrase beautiful simplicity. This by Peanut is the Ninja Knight, a blend of both Kimura and Elgado. The, I mean, it's, it's perfect. Look at it. It is absolutely magnificent. It's not crazy. It's not flashy. It's not going mental with various pieces, but it does use five different pieces to form a set that looks like it just is a set that Capcom made and put in the game themselves. A perfect weapon choice in the Acnesom. How the Benevolent Bandage blends into the black belt chest is just 10 out of 10 master level fashioning and everything is just perfect it's a beautiful outfit that really does work for hunting because you're not going to get distracted by your character if you're running around in the gold shiny one from before you probably get bored of the novelty with such a flashy set whereas this is beautiful and very well put together and i can see it just being your character's normal main look that you spend hundreds of hours hunting in and i really appreciate that it's hard not to give huge respect which is why i'm doing it to an outfit that uses five different pieces yet looks so perfect and so wearable for the longest time. So my hat's off to you, Mr. Peanut, for this wonderful submission. In uh, second place then, well... <laughs> We have a continuation of perhaps the more golden theme of today with what looks like the incarnation avatar of a glorious golden thunder power god in hunter form. Just the pure combination of that Rajang chest and the Zenoga helmet is amazing. It's just two pieces together, but it gives such a striking, powerful look, and I can't get enough of it. This is by Dr. Levon, and I really, really am chuffed. A beautiful blend of Zenoga and Rajang, with just a little bit of Ladroth and Snowshear in there, and then combining it with the perfect choice of weaponry in Furious Rajang weaponry, we just end up with this really like imposing set right like this kind of has that power look to it that's really really neat you just have him stood there just in cutscenes, in screenshots and it's like my god is this guy even a human is that a helmet or is that just what he looks like and i think that's a really really neat aesthetic to carry across in an outfit so yes very very impressive dr lavon first place today then and yes, we are continuing that glorious golden theme. It is this. By Nye, the golden hunter. And there is something so utterly sublime about this. Genuinely. It absolutely, as they say, slaps. And I really 
really didn't want to initially choose it because it's only really combining two different sets of armor, Rathian and Seregios. But the combination of that with just the perfect color selection has created something that is undeniably ungodly effective. And I have to give it credit where it's due. I would totally just wear this full time if I was a male character hunter. Like, it, it's it's beautiful to me. It's right up my alley. It's not like garishly gold. It's not annoyingly gold. It's not like super bright glowy. It's just a proper golden plate knight warrior look that absolutely is just so precisely well crafted. And I have to give credit to a set that makes me go, damn, I'm kind of sad I'm not a male hunter because genuinely I would just straight up copy this and wear it all the time because it's just that good. And it really is just that good. So... I hope you very much have enjoyed the sets for today. As I said, well, firstly, let me know which one is your favorite too. But as I said, submit yours down at the link below. Please include videos of it, a nice pan round, any cool action shots, any flavor you want. Basically, the more you give, well, by far and away, the better it is for the show, and it really is appreciated. And I have to say, you guys, your creativity, the sets you're coming up with, I wish I could present like 50 sets an episode. I really do. It really is some magnificent stuff, and you guys really are the best. For now, though, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, and consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. Until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.